I've seen better readings on a seismograph. Because on our first day, we were making out And you're not that volcanic. Would you guys care to introduce yourselves? Introduce ourselves? Yes. The Wax Wings. Uh, hi, we're the Wax Wings. <laughs> we're the Wax Wings. <laughs> we're gay. <laughs> They're not gay. They were good last night. Mm. Good, yeah. Jim. They played last night. All right. Night. They didn't right. record with me. They suck. My name is Ben Blackwell. <laughs> said they're gay. My name is T. Jackson Potter. I'm Mick Collins. I'm... Careful now. <laughs> My name is Jim Diamond. I'm a homosexual of the band. <laughs> My main influences are the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> and the Psychedelic Furs. <laughs> There's more good bands per capita in Detroit. No, you're not even per capita. There's more good bands in Detroit than there is in any other major motherfucking city in the United States yeah, of America. Yeah, there's a lot That's of bad there bands. Is to it. Boy, but there's still a lot of shitty bands, When we bands go on too. tour and bands open up for us, boy, <laughs> do most of them suck. <laughs> We're looking at this Mojo magazine here, if you can get this on camera. It's this Mojo magazine with their friends Jack and White on the cover, and they did this write-up about the dirt bombs and... And when I was on my yeah. way to practice to look at it, I ran out of gas because I didn't have any money. So this should tell you like the situation in Detroit. We've probably done more interviews than, than oh, people in our audiences. <laughs> Check it out. There's the dirt bombs right there. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah. 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 Which one's which? <laughs> I'm the blackest one. <laughs> if you can come over my house and get rid of some of the money, it's been hard to get around. There's just piles yeah, of it. A shovel and a I try to, I try to get around them. It's that. tough. I bought a backhoe just to handle mine. It's just what kind of? It's a horrible interview. Bring that have some kind of preconceived romantic idea about Detroit. Oh, yeah. oh everybody, yeah, everybody, oh, yeah. everybody, yeah. everybody has like? some kind of idea yeah. of what Detroit is like. It's all some weird thing that they, you know, yeah. some pastiche of what they read in Enemy and Mojo. So that you know, it's all this yeah. one musical wonderland with fairy lights and everyone everyone's looks a star. Like Iggy. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone looks like Iggy with the Stooges. Everyone's walking around in bell bottoms and white belts. Yeah, you, and you pull up one American corner. flags on their amps. It's Carl so Craig's on one corner and Jack right. White's on the next corner. Yeah, and you pull yeah. up down the road and it's there's so Jim Diamond. I just Bob kids, Seger. Kids going, yeah, I really want to move to Detroit. Oh yeah, that's great. Why don't you right down on Cass Avenue? Where right. I live. Yeah, make sure you bring your Go, car. Yeah. So what is with the two drums? More, more beats. Ben and me. It's more. It's just, I mean, bigger, you know, bigger would, you, beat. would you rather have yeah, sex with it. one woman or huh? two no. women? Yeah. And that's then, the worst analogy. No, I've it's ever. the perfect analogy. Okay, go with it then. I prefer to think of the kind of Joey. You ever read Joey magazine online? <laughs> sort of the Nambla analogy. You know, you've got the older gentleman, oh, the no. older experienced gentleman, helping the young buck on his way. That's the kind of what it is. It's sort of that, you know, struggle. That sort of sexual tension makes it work. Two Sexy. men. Yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna go with Ben's now. As it's another like thing. grandpa pops. Plus, every other motherfucker in this town's a rock star who thinks they are. So. Yeah. Yeah. We're, They're a dime a dozen. Yeah. yeah. Fucking can't throw a rock without hitting a rock star. So what makes rock star with a capital rock stars. R. Fucking rock stars. What makes the Dirt Bombs the best rock? Because we have two volume. drummers. Because <laughs> we don't give a <laughs> shit. Because we, 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 we deal don't in front. volume. Yeah. Are we don't front. The best we don't front. Front. No, I don't yeah. think we are yeah, the best rock st- band. I mean, that's that's yeah, no that's that's the reason we are the best is because we don't think we are. We're not going out there saying we're the best motherfuckers Dude, out there. We're going out there unassuming <laughs> and just. Yeah, laughing, and yeah, we go out. we don't out, take any of this stuff seriously. We go out, and we play. Obviously, I we mean, you've been out. trying to interview us for an hour, and look at what you got. How much <laughs> of this is going to turn up on the cutting room floor? All of it. 